Hello everyone, this is Derek, and this movie is sort of related to monsters. It would be a great choice for Halloween, if you want a family-friendly movie. It's Pixar, and basically it's Monsters, Inc. So, there we go, we got one movie today called Monsters, Inc., it was played at my school just recently. Fortunately, I was thinking of doing a vlog on that, but when we entered the building, people were in their school. And you know what? <laughs> I've got to be honest. A lot of the kids in the audience were younger kids and mostly girls for some reason. I don't get it. Anyways, let's get on to the review. The Monsters, Inc. What can you say about it? It's like Wazowski. You include Mike Wazowski and you get Sully and you get a great movie. And this movie is a great movie. I think you should check it out. It was, let's get on the review. You have good you have a story where this where you have like this child called Boo where you have to you can't you can't have children in monsters in the monster world. So that's a pretty interesting thing there and from that it's a pretty great movie, I think. But yeah, some interesting, uniquely designed monsters, but it does seem familiar, though. And you've got, like, this entire thing, and this just keeps falling off. And you also got Billy Crystal. And more celebrities. Who else? Some... Um, and he got Pixar, so you got a really good movie there, and the presentation looks really nice. The monsters look very detailed and and more, and and the some of those scenes, those in action scenes in the movie, they actually did them well, but still tried to make them, still tried to not make them go over the G rating. They can't go over like a PG thirteen rated movie, not for Pixar. That's for Jurassic Park, or World. Even, even these, they, the doors look really nice, and, and Boo is a really cute character, I gotta say. Boo is very cute, he's like, kitty! Boo. And there's also, like, like, more to it. And it is a visually dazzling movie, as they say. So it's it's a really good movie. Like monster, I think it's probably better than that University. I think basically, um, and they've got like this love interest that doesn't really actually turn out to be like. She's like, you got Celia, you got Randall. He's the villain. Spoiler. Um, you should watch Monsters University to figure out how he's the villain. But watch this first. And then you'll figure out... It's like the Star Wars. They made them like, four, five, six first, and then one, two, three after. I don't... It's like that. But with only two movies. Anyways, what am I going to give Monsters University? Monsters... What? Ick! Wait a minute. Ick. It's in this really good bundle, I think, and I think, I think it's totally worth it. You should go check it out, and from that, I'm going to give it a, um, let me think. What's a good rating? Probably an 8 out of 10. It's not like the best movie made from Pixar, but it, but it still is a really great movie. So, there's my review of Monsters, Inc. You want me to review a more negative review movie? Well, then you should comment below or anything. So, that's the end of this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you with the next one somewhere in the future. Bye! I won't have nothing if I didn't have you. Won't have nothing if I didn't have you. Won't have nothing if I didn't have you. You...